Oh my goodness. Look at this. Hey, Bolo Buddies. Thanks for watching. All right, you guys, in this video, we are going to talk about plush. In other words, stuffed animals that sell for money on eBay and other platforms. I'm going to tell you where they got it, what they paid for it, and what it sold for. So I posted this in my Bolo Buddies Facebook group and invited everyone in the group to share their best plush bolo. So I'm going to share with you guys some big money. Stuffed animals, of all things, can sell for big money. Uh, stuffed animal, big money bolos. So let's get started here. And you guys are welcome to go over to the Facebook group and share your bolo. And if you would like a shout out to your YouTube channel or eBay store, just make sure you put that in the comments. All right. So let's start here with the first one. It is a Gans Webkin Signature Bernice Mountain Dog Realistic Plush. And no tag, no code. Now, I will say sometimes having the code and the tag on the Webkins can make them sell for more. There's also another, um, I think it is actually this one, the signature brand. Let me show you the tag if they have it. Yes, right here. See how it's gold? A lot of times the signature brand can go for more. Not always. I uh, I sold a dog. I want to say it was for over $100. And it was just a dog that was not common. And if I remember correctly, I don't think there were any comps on it. And I just priced it high and hoped for the best. If you want to know more about Webkins, type Bolo Buddies Webkins into the YouTube search bar and it will pull up that video. This one, she said, purchased at Red Racks for $2.80 and sold for $39.99 overnight. So uh, she may have underpriced it. I'm not 100% sure. I didn't do any research on this. One thing you can think about doing um, if you're not sure is starting the item on auction at the price you were going to price it at for buy it now. So she could have started this at $39.99. And if the market demanded a higher price and multiple people wanted this, it could have gone for more than the $40. The next item here is mine. It's a rock and roll Hall of Fame bear stuffed animal. Uh, it's got ta uh, tattoos and piercings and a mohawk. And I couldn't find another one like it. And to be honest with you, I've never seen one with these features. So I went ahead and I believe I did an auction first and it did not sell. And then I put it on buy it now with best offer. And it sold for my sale price of $49.60. And I picked this, this up at the Goodwill Benz. And uh, the Goodwill Benz, you buy by weight. And I do have videos where I shop at the Goodwill Benz if you guys want to see what that's like. The next item kind of surprised me. Uh, it's not a huge money bolo, but it's kind of one of those that I think many of us would leave behind at the garage sale or the thrift store. Because it's Aeropostale. It is a clothing store stuffed animal. And probably not something I would think that would sell quickly or for good money. But maybe somebody was looking for a penguin. I'm not really sure. But it says, my plush so far for this month. Bought off whatnot for a couple of dollars. Sold for 25 but took a little bit to sell. Maybe four months. Not too bad. Yeah, four months is not too bad, in my opinion, for plush. Plush can sit for a long time. And not all of it is big money. But uh, she did not say what she paid for it, but sold it for $25. To me, that's an unexpected plush bolo. Aeropostale, guys. Noel, farm girl scavenger Noel. If you're not following her on YouTube, definitely check her out. She is a wealth of knowledge and she sold a ton of Furbies. And she said, um, and, and they keep selling. <laughs> <laughs> this one went to Aussie land and I already got great feedback. So Australia, it looks like feel like shared a bunch of these in the last plush video paid $2 at an estate sale for 44 of these. So $2 each best resource for listing. These is the Furby wiki fandom page. So if you want to learn about the value of the items and maybe additional information, she's saying wiki fandom page. I've never heard of that. She said, do your research and do not undersell. Even the broken ones will sell for more than 25. If you do the work. Oh, even the broken ones will sell for more than 25 if you do the work. So she's saying research them, figure out what they sell for and um, really take the time to figure it out. This one works. And she sold this for $82.49. You can see she put a video in the listing. I think that's very, very smart especially for electronics. Number one, 
I think it offers you some protection. If somebody opens a case against you, I pretty sure eBay sides with the buyer and lets them return it no matter what. But you at least have something that you can say to the buyer, hey, there's a video in my listing showing the item worked. And that may be able to, if it was damaged during transit, help you with a claim or something like that. Okay, so it looks like she sold it for $82.49 and paid $2 for it. She got a really good deal on those with the original box and everything. This is a vintage Resi Prosol. Oh, West Germany wooden dolls. Magdalena and friend. Vintage 1980s. Not sure if these are really classified as plush, but I'm just going to leave that here. Um, I'm going to say no, not plush, but a really cool bolo, and I like it. So, paid 50 cents each and lotted together. Also have some smaller ornament style ones listed. Don't forget to follow me on YouTube, Instagram, whatnot, and eBay. Farm Girl Scavenger Noel. And she's all, yeah, she did put whatnot. And you guys, if you're not on whatnot, definitely check it out. It is a great place to score items to resell. But it's also just a lot of fun to go and hang out. So I hope to see you guys on a Whatnot show. I am Bolo Buddies over there. There is a referral link down below where you can get $15 to shop when you join with that link. So I hope to see you guys. I do a lot of jewelry untanglings, grab and sell. And it's super fun. And even if you don't buy anything, just come hang out. It's a, a great time. It's kind of being like on YouTube at a live show. But you're on Whatnot, the app. All right. Vintage Women's 70s. ACME tan suede leather western tall cowboy boots. I bought these women's boots for 10 at the Salvation Army and sold them for 199 on my Poshmark. The shoes were all picked over so I was bummed that day and picked the boots up because western always sells. Little did I know how much they would sell for. Wow, 199 on those. They almost look like yeah, suede. Those are in really nice condition. You guys know how suede gets uh, when it gets wet and these look pretty good. I don't see any stains or anything. The next item is this Tonka mini pound puppy GG plush stuffed animal dog white poodle. And she has a video. I'm not sure what it does, but uh, she sold this. Let's see. I sold a mini pound puppy for $20.63 on eBay best offer. So that was all in with shipping. I paid less than a dollar for it at a church sale. And she has piece of scrap on YouTube and eBay. Now, this is not a huge money bolo, but it just goes to show you that you can pick plush up cheap and still flip it for a good profit. So what, she 10 times her money? Is that right? On a stuffed animal. Easy to list. Easy to ship. I love selling plush. And plush does really good on Poshmark and Mercari as well. So if you um, are not cross-posting, definitely consider getting your plush on those other platforms. Uh, this is a vintage Vicma bamboo thumb sucking baby doll, girl blonde, blue eyes, 1980s. And it says it's a doll, but I thought it would fit here. This is an old doll I remember from childhood. Picked it up from an estate sale that gives me deals based on the box. So I paid 15 for my box of choices. So less than $2 a piece. And it does have a plush body, it looks like. Um, I was talking about cross posting. I do use List Perfectly to cross post. I do have videos, tutorials that teach you how to use List Perfectly. You can get 30% off your first month when you use that um, referral link down below. So definitely check out those videos. See if it's a good fit for you. They just came out with the Pro Plan, Pro Plus Plan recently, and it's got a lot of new features. So that may be something that you are more interested in now that they have um, added features to List Perfectly. So super exciting updates. And if you want to get on Mercari and Poshmark, I do have referral links down in the description where you will get money to shop. And when you use those links, I get money to shop. So thank you guys for checking out those referral and affiliate links down below. I appreciate it greatly. Um, helps me keep this channel going. And I just want to say thank you. So this next one is a vintage 1991 Fisher Price Puffalump plush pony zebra horse blue stars and stripes. I have sold this one, I believe, twice. And always get excited when I find it because I know it's a bolo. Picked up for a buck at a local thrift store. And it looks like took a best offer of $55 on this one. And so a dollar into 55 is fabulous. And depending on the condition, sometimes they can go for more. Star Wars. Oh my goodness. Look at this. 
I submitted these to the other post, but it's actually a plush bolo. Someone in a Discord group sold theirs for like 400 And the day they sold the ones they had, I looked and saw someone selling a lot of five of these plush for 90 from Spain. Bought them immediately and paid 120 all in to get them shipped to the States. So I don't know if they bought it on eBay and then sold it on eBay. I bet so. These are an extremely rare plush sold at only a single Star Wars convention. All remaining plush were destroyed after the convention because IP lawyers feared a lawsuit from ugly dolls due to the similarities. Oh my goodness. A lawsuit probably would have complicated the deal Disney made to buy Star Wars 22 months later. These took three months to sell and accepted a best offer of 450 Wow. That is interesting. What do you guys think about that? Wonder how they found the backstory on that. There you go. There you go. Wow. Did you guys know about this? So be on the lookout for the ones that have these kind of faces. Looks like they're valuable. They'll probably do pretty good on their own as well individually. Okay, this one, all right, this is not a plush. It was put in the wrong location, but that's okay. I'm still going to share it. And it is a, I always forget how to say these, dogorario type. <laughs> I know that's totally wrong, but it is a type of photo. And it's a lady who died of is it Claria? Oh my goodness, you guys. That's horrible that I don't know how to say that. The same year the photo was taken, purchased for 13 and sold for 200 the same day. So I have no idea how he knows this information about her. Oh, look, she was from Ohio. Wow. Check that out. And their store is Antique Photo Stock. So if you want to learn more or see more, check that out. But it looks like they were able to research the woman maybe by the name on the back. Wow. That is interesting. What do you guys think about that? Besides, I can't uh, pronounce things. <laughs> All right. Not a plush, but definitely something intriguing. All right, the next one says, my eBay store is Leo's Treasures. I purchased this 2005 Pinhurst U.S. Open Golf Tournament Teddy Bear souvenir at a local garage sale for $2. It sold when my plush was on sale for 15% off, and it sold for $32.94, and the buyer paid shipping. So just a little cutie here, and it has to do with a tournament. So maybe a little more long tail looking for a specific buyer or it sells fast because somebody has maybe it in their uh, search history as things to alert them for. All right, let's look at the next one. Hallmark Disney Baby Minnie Mouse Face Bo Lovey Security Blanket Blankie. This is also from Leo's Treasures. I purchased this Hallmark Disney Baby Minnie Mouse Plush Lovey at a garage sale for a dollar. It was new with tags. It sold for full asking price of $32.75 and the buyer paid shipping. So it's flat. How cute is that? It's adorable. She did a great job with her photos, guys. See how she's got close-ups of the condition. She's got the measurement. There you go. And the next one is a vintage 1990 applause boo-boo elephant 16-inch stuffed plush with tag. And she said, I purchased this vintage 1990 applause boo-boo elephant stuffed animal with the tags at the Goodwill for $2.99. When I bought it, I thought it would sell quickly, but it sat for a long time. So I unlisted and sold similar and it sold almost immediately. It sold for full asking price of $49.75 and the buyer paid shipping. So let me know what you guys think about that. Have you ever thought something was going to sell quickly and it didn't and then you relisted it and it sold fast? Um, I know that I, I think... All of us should maybe after so long. I don't know if I recommend doing it monthly. I don't really have a recommendation, honestly. You guys put your feedback on what you do and if you think it's helpful. I know a lot of people do it monthly. I don't have time to do it monthly, but uh, people say that it will bump it in the algorithm when you relist and sell similar or end your item and sell similar. 
So let me know. She says it worked for her. But it is it is time. All right, here we go. Rare vintage Hello Kitty plush stuffed Nakajima <laughs> Senrio tan Hawaiian winking bikini. Now the bikini is not winking. Uh, it was one of the plushies my daughter didn't want anymore. It was a Christmas gift from a family member years ago, so it was free. So in another video, I talked about things sitting in your house. So she took something that was her daughter's and flipped it for a nice profit of $74.99. So has anybody actually started listing things from their house? Let me know in the comments. I know quite a few of you commented that, oh, I need to do this. This is a good idea. Um, let me know if you had any success with that. Did you find any bolos? Because this bolo was sitting in probably her daughter's room. All right. Hello, Kitty is definitely a bolo. Also, Hello Kitty does very well on Mercari. If you want to see uh, plush comparisons of items that sold on Mercari versus uh, eBay, check out my Build-A-Bear video. Oh my goodness. It's unbelievable. Unbelievable. Vintage 1977 Bradley's Department Store Bruff Play Safer Bear stuffed, uh, stuffed plush Hasbro. Look at this old guy. He even has a little uh, defect right here. I found this 1977 vintage plush for $2.99 at the Goodwill. He had a few rips on the seams of his shirt and fur was a little bit matted. Based on research, listed high at $125, ran a sale and accepted an offer of $89. Uh, my, I'm sorry, eBay store is no flipping way. Thanks, Courtney, for all you do. Oh, thank you so much for sharing. That is a good one. Okay, this one's mine. This was just another unexpected. This little guy is only five inches tall. And I got him at the Goodwill bin, so probably less than a buck. I couldn't find any comps on it. I did not check worth point because I, I, I don't think I did. I probably should have, but I didn't. So what I did is uh, a lot of times I will run an auction first just to make sure that, you know, uh, it's not a big money bolo that people are going to fight over. A lot of times when you have a plush or any item that is harder to find, there are people that are waiting for that item to post. So I went ahead, I believe I did an auction maybe once or twice. That's typically what I do on items I can't find and it didn't sell. So I relisted it and put it on sale and it sold for my sale price of $49.60. So less than a dollar investment at the Goodwill bins and flipped it pretty quickly for the $49.60. And it's just a little guy and it's scholastic. So this is probably something that came with a book at a book fair or something like that. Uh, I think scholastic is books, right? Anyway, uh, definitely be on the lookout for the unexpected. Another item that I sold that was kind of unexpected was a Bob Evans plush. It was just a inexpensive little Bob Evans plush, but somebody was looking for it and I priced it high and it sold. So uh, yeah, uh, you just never know with plush. You got to look it up. You got to look it up. I just did another video uh, where somebody had shared their best March bolo in the Facebook group, and it was a unexpected brand, just a cheap brand. And the item, I believe it sold for over $100. So watch for that video. I'm not sure which one will post first, but oh my goodness, I was shocked, completely shocked at what it sold for because... It was not something that I thought would go for big money. Not that brand. Nope. I know the item goes for big money, but not that brand. All right, you guys, if you want to share your best plush bolo, um, I have a new share post up in the Facebook group. I always pin those to the top. You can check that out, share a plush, and make sure you shout out your YouTube channel or your uh, social media selling platform, uh, whether that's eBay or whatnot or wherever you sell put that in the comments so I can read it and you guys can get a shout out. And again, best um, plush for April is up. All right. Let me know what you think about those big money plush. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you for watching. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share. And thanks for watching.